The High Price of Idolatry Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 25 I also gave them statutes that were not good, and ordinances by which they could not live. Did God really issue bad laws? This bewildering declaration by God, given through the prophet Ezekiel to Israelites from the southern kingdom, Judah, being held in captivity in Babylon, occurred between 593 B.C. and 571 B.C., the dates of Ezekiel's ministry. Ezekiel's prophecy reminded the exiles of the national sins that had caused their judgment, and it assured them that God had not forgotten them and had a future plan for them. As part of his prophecy, Ezekiel gave a sermon about rebellion and restoration. In this review of Israel's history of disobedience to and defiance of God, see Ezekiel 20 verses 1 through 44, especially during the 40-year wilderness journey after leaving Egypt, near 1440 BC. God speaks of laws that Israel could not keep. Two generations of Israelites participated in the wilderness sojourn, those who came out of Egypt and those who were born after the departure. Ezekiel 20 verses 10 to 17 talks about the idolatry and disobedience of the first generation. And verses 18 to 26 speak of the second generation's idolatry. Both generations practiced idolatry, and both received temporal judgment. Part of the judgment of the second generation was letting their sins run the full course in their lives. Some interpreters have wanted to identify the laws in verse 25 with the Mosaic Law, including the Ten Commandments. However, such an interpretation contradicts other biblical passages that speak of the law as good and an expression of God's righteousness. See Romans 7 verses 12 and 16. Also, the Mosaic Law was given to the first generation coming from Egypt. See Ezekiel 20, 11. And in this passage, Ezekiel is speaking about the second generation. The statutes and ordinances verse 25 refers to are the laws and practices of the pagan nations that Israel adopted. These were not laws that God gave us, but laws that Israel chose over God's law. Thus, God gave Israel up to its own desires. Such laws included human sacrifice, chapter 20, verse 26, something God specifically prohibited. Read Leviticus 18, 21, and Leviticus 20, verses 1 to 5. The sacrifices spoken of here were probably to the Ammonite god Moloch. See 1 Kings 11, 7 and 2 Kings 23, 10 to whom infants were sacrificed in a fire. In their practice of false religion and idol worship, the Israelites were rebelling against God, who let them temporarily go their own way. But the practices were also the judgment, similar to what Paul describes of others in Romans 1 verses 24 to 28. God simply allowed their sins to run their full course so that the Israelites experienced the consequences of their choices. The sin of the Israelites became its own punishment. See Psalm 81, verse 12. Idolatry always was and is a senseless and fatal attraction.